What up, family? Get news for that. From the Mary Lee today, Strictly Tuesday, my city, Chicago, January the 23rd, 2024. Look, check this out. Martin Luther King did his speech or whatever, uh, May 8th, 20, my fault, May 8th, 1967. I was born May 25th, 1967. I got railroaded for staying sober on the, at the AA Mustard seat in my city, Chicago, with almost 19 years of sobriety. You understand? My sobriety is Christmas of 1997. Okay? And they was hating on me because I am the originator of rap since the age of eight, 1975. And I was standing up for myself as a child abuse victim at the age of six, 1973. Okay? With that said, they took me to the first district police station because this guy they set up to go against me at the mustard seed named Paris uh, decided to throw me under the bus to save his ass for whatever reason. I don't know how much money they paid him, whatever it was. I guess it was enough to, you know, try to kill me. So they called the police and stuff, even though the AA must have seen meeting and alcoholism now is open to the public. If you're trying to stay sober without the BAM, and I've been there long before Paris, okay, the one that railroaded me and stuff, sold me out. Long story short, police came, and I'm like, Paris, you know, we have been through this before without the BAM. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know... They took me to uh, the first district police station in my city, Chicago, had me sleeping on the floor with no toilet, no bed, and no sink. You understand what I'm saying? And, of course, I was homeless, but I had some money on me, a Social Security check, Michael Jordan basketball cards, and things of value and stuff. They gave me none of that back, stole all that, talking about the police. The next day, May 9th of 2016, they took me out that cell, put me in a regular cell, so when the people came, it wouldn't look like I was sleeping on the floor. Then they took me to the Cook County Jail, railroaded me some more, took me on the uh, psych ward at the Cook County Jail, held me down with 18, almost 19 years of sobriety, and stuck me with needles and gave me cancer. The Family Guy has a TV show that uh, talked about them having the cure to cancer, okay? Real talk, and it's other video and i'll put it all in the description of this video um that came out 50 years ago talked about what happened in 2016 these are the numbers that they given now remember martin luther king allegedly you know what i'm saying but it's documented you know gave a speech may 8th the same month and day and matter of fact it was on mother's day in 2016 may 8th and the year I was born, 1967. So obviously, either he was watching me come up as a little girl and realize that, you know, I was going to be somebody and they threw me under the bus and gave it to him because of whatever dealings he got with the Catholic Church. But I remember as a little girl, I was with Catholic Charities and I had a whole bunch of diseases. And then they put me with DCFS, Department of Children and Family Services in my city, Chicago, not too far from where I'm residing at, 6210 South Kimbock Avenue, Chicago, North 60637. That's where I'm at. But the um, Department of Children and Family Services is on uh, 59th Street, not too far from me. Now, they want to label me crazy. I gave up and went for my child abuse rap at the age of 17 in 1984. The Color Purple came out in 19. 19- 85. She's still pimping my story, and that's why she's having so much bad luck and throwing people under the bus trying to figure out who's a Mary McAmire and who it ain't, so they can, you know, I don't know, invest in prison because the rap is starting to, you know, fall apart or whatever and stuff, and they killing rappers for their money or whatever, just like they did people with the coronavirus and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? It's all tied to me, but people wouldn't stand up, and I've been trying to tell people all along, look, until you do right by me, like the color purple say. You know, if then you think of it's going to fail. So when Martin Luther King said that he believed he was leading his people into a burning house, it's the truth. I'm surrounded by a bunch of guys. When I got here May um, 31st of 2017, there was no camera by my door. These niggas was dying. The block was empty. You understand what I'm saying? And now it's full. Cameras by the door. They watch me just like on the psych board in my city, Chicago, in 2016. They was watching me take a shower. I caught all that. I wrote so many grievances. I wrote a whole book called Liquid Hell. They got it. They just act as if, you know, you know, I'm crazy. So after I gave up on my child abuse rap, like I said, in 84, 1984, I gave it to her again in 1995, put my voice to the sound of music on three cassette tapes front and back, along with the Martin Luther King I Have a Dream speech, and she realized I was going to be somebody bigger than her, and that's why she's been keeping me 
you know, suppressed and stuff, real talk. I didn't want a crazy chick. They took me a psych ward or whatever and stuff in 1995 trying to label me crazy. I said, I don't want the crazy chick. Yeah, I want my legacy. You understand what I'm saying? They said, you're not going to get out unless you sign off on this paperwork for the crazy chick. And now here we go. Speed it up. 2024, they trying to take my so-called Social Security, a.k.a crazy check from me and stuff. They took my social security number that I've had on my letter, award letter for 20 years. Since I've been here, they've, you know, shut things down, have people attack me, game bangers, people, you know, coming in my, out my room, violating, disrespecting me, invasion of privacy, all kind of shit. Just crazy. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So with that said, I'm just telling my Mary Magna Myers, so you won't, you know, be confused as to what's going on. I've been trying to tell y'all all, all along, all you had to do was stand up, but you want to give it all to Martin Luther King, go right ahead. He's dreaming. I'm the reality. You wouldn't have had shit if it weren't for me and my rappers and Mary McElmyers and stuff. Waiting to see if y'all was going to look out for me like we looked out for y'all. And that's why he said he believes in leading his people into a burning house. And he is. And that's why we got AIDS, coronavirus, drugs, gang banging, gun violence, police brutality, murder, rape, all kind of shit. So here we go. This the 10. It's my city, Chicago. I should only have to do this one time and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? To prove it. Drop that zero and get yourself a Shiva. I am still number one, whether you want to believe it or not. With that, this is your Gavin News Quarter Mary Dash. It's been a Mary Lee. Step your game up. Peace.